Today I am coming to you with a tutorial for a sunglasses case um, by polkadotchair.com. Here is the pattern. You can download it for free. You just need to subscribe to their newsletter through email and you will get this template. Uh, I will put a link to the tutorial on uh, in the description below the video. So here are the materials that are required the sunglasses so that you can um, see the size of the case that you want to make um, you need the template of course you need the lining fabric you need the main fabric paper scissors fabric scissors pins and some fusible fleece I'm using uh, the pattern tutorial calls for a foam interfacing but since I don't have that I'm going to be using a fusible fleece so first of all I'm going to check which size is going to be perfect for the glasses here. Um, this one seems to be fine and I think I'll go ahead and make this one or I can make the larger one and she can use it to put uh, more stuff in her pouch. So contemplating and decided to make the smaller one although I'll cut the larger one and I'll fold it before cutting the fabric so that I don't have to print it again for the larger one so now I'm going to cut the template so this is a US uh, letter size paper and uh, the template says that um, the cutting instructions say that do not cut margins from because um, there are no margins to this template. So you just need to follow the lines and cut to the border of the paper. So that's my template and I need to cut the top off so this pattern calls for the lettering sunnies on top of the template but I'm not going to do that it's too much work I'm just going to do fabric embroidery um, it's a paint embroidery and the um, material that I'm using the paints that I'm using they're called embroidery paints so fabric embroidery paints I, I wonder they're like 3d paints that you get in your normal art supply store so you can use that so now I've cut the template and I'm going to fold it on this line so that I use the smaller size for cutting the fabric okay so that's the final size that I'm going to be using and I'm going to be cutting uh, two of the exterior and two of the lining fabrics and two of the fusible fleece so I'll be back I've cut the four pieces two exterior and two interior now and I'm going to be using this hot pink zipper I think it will match my sister's personality this uh, case is for my sister's sunglasses that I have got for her so uh, the the instructions from here on would be uh, applicable to any kind of zipper pouch um, that is uh, any shape of the body but the application of the zipper would be the same for any shape of a zipper pouch and so now at this point you would like to uh, you would want to apply any kind of tags or appliques that you want on this uh, exterior 
and apply it at this stage and be sure to leave like a one fourth inch to a half inch uh, seam allowance so that uh, the appliques are not disturbed by the seaming of the zipper because the zipper is going to be coming on this side and the pouch is going to be assembled like so the exterior would be like this and the interior would be the same on the other side so now i'm going to apply my uh, tags and uh, let's take this further into the sewing part so i'll be working on assembling the pouch now uh, here is my zipper here are my exterior and interior pieces for one side uh, so what i need to do is this this is my tag and I'll be putting it on the side so what I need to do is place the zipper the right side up the zipper side up on the lining and make sure that the zipper is centered that means the metal tab here and here need to have the equal amount of fabric on there on either end and then I'll piece my interfaced uh, exterior um, on top of this matching the ends of the seams and then with a quarter inch seam allowance I'm just gonna sew it so before that I need to place the zipper tab out of my way so I'll just unzip it of a little bit over here and make sure it's lined up with the um, edges of my lining piece and then line it line up the exterior with this and then start sewing so reverse the needle down position would be helpful and I have just a basic all-purpose white thread in my machine so all we need to make sure is that the zipper pull faces the exterior of the fabric and now since I've come in uh, about midway I'm gonna zip up so that it doesn't interfere with my sewing and then line up the edges again and sew all the way through making sure I do a back stitch on the end and the beginning so that's how it's gonna look now I'm gonna finger press this end like so so that when I open and close the zipper the fabric doesn't come in the way so that's the finger pressing of the wrong uh, of the interior and I'll do the same for the exterior and just to make sure that my fabric doesn't fall in the way I'm going to do a top stitch and for the top stitch uh, I'll increase the stitch width to a 4 on my machine and um, I'll make sure the edge of the interior edge of the my zipper foot is lined up with the sewn edge of the exterior. Uh, and making sure it's pulled. So that's one end and that's how it is done and now I'll do the other side exactly the same so make sure the lining matches with the lining here and the edges are matching on both sides and edges over here so that's how I'm lining it up. So you see the edges here and here are matching. And 
bring the exterior and do the same matching the edges and then using the same one fourth inch seam allowance oh and be sure to put your stitch length back to where it was so mine was three i put it back to three and i'm going to back and then start again holding all the pieces together and as i near as i come near the zipper pull i'm going to stop with the needle inside the fabric and i'm going to open the zipper so it doesn't interfere with my sewing And there it is. So I'm just gonna finish it. And that's how it looks. So I'm gonna zip this completely and do the same finger pressing on both ends and do a top stitch. sew it so lining up with the edge of oh, interior edge of the zipper foot increasing the stitch length to four no back stitch required here So that's how you assemble it. Now we need to open the zipper midway so that we can turn the pouch in. Match exterior to exterior and interior to interior. Now while doing so, um, the, the zipper needs to be pushed towards the exterior while the seams on both ends need to be pushed towards the interior of the pouch so that when we open it the pull uh, the zipper is nice and uh, towards the top and not dipping into the fabric so that's how it is done and now i'm going to place this under my zipper foot to hold it fold my tag this is a fold sewing tag so this tag needs to go in towards the exterior part of the fabric between the zipper and the end so I'm going to just place it here just uh, about an inch below um, where I'm sewing going to sew make sure I'm matching all my ends and I'm going to sew all around Backstitching. okay now while going over the zipper gonna be very careful because there is there was a metal end here so I'm going to walk my machine, again move it back to the stitch length it was on. I'm going to see if this passes through because I am not sure where the metal end is. And yes, it seems like it will pass through so I'm going to go ahead and back stitch here secure the zipper part and then go over it once more quarter inch before the end I'm going to put the needle in stop and pivot and then I'm going to sew along the edge moving the fabric as I sew
wherever I need to pivot I will put the uh, needle in and then pivot the fabric by putting the uh, foot up pulling uh, pulling the foot up keep sewing along the edge again on this side make sure the zipper is facing towards the exterior since that metal part might be on in my way it seems like I've cleared it so I'll back stitch uh oh my bobbin thread is finished I just realized so I'm going to fill that in and come back I'm back and I'm going to resume my stitching from where I left off or where the bobbin thread ran out so back stitch and then run along the edge pivot make sure the zipper is in the right direction slow don't want to hit the metal part and the needle will break go very slow and once you've cleared do the back stitch go over it a third time and then resume your stitching beginning if you remember I had not um, changed my stitch width uh, length sorry so I'm going to go over that part again and then stop stitching pivot and stop stitching So it's good that this happened because we had to leave like a gap in the interior of the fabric so as to turn it. So all that I need to do now is just use my handy seam ripper and make that gap which I forgot to put. And it's as easy as that. You just open the stitches and make that gap so now that I have this opened on the interior end of the fabric I'll make that gap as wide, wide as I need it to be uh, use my seam ripper so that's one side and same distance on the other side And that's my gap to turn the pouch inside out but before I do that I need to make small snips on the curvy parts of the pouch and making sure that it's not going to the seam line just make a uh, small snips at 3 4 inch or 1 inch intervals throughout and then make a snip right in the center making sure not to cut the seam keep making those snips and these snips are required on any curvy parts that you make so I'm going to do the same because when I turn this it's going to work here as well so since this is a bit thicker I have to use my fabric shears have to be really careful not to cut the seam lines 
so I'm just going before the seam line right in the center there just before the seam line not crossing it or cutting it otherwise it will be a disaster and now one more step that I need to do is press this part to the towards the inside so that after I turn this pouch it will be easier for me to sew the interior of the pouch so I'm going to do that and be right back so this is how it will look after being ironed on both sides of the interior so that when I turn it will be easier for me to sew this in. So now I am just going to turn the pouch inside out. Uh, one thing you can do to make it smoother is clip the corners to make them rounded on all the four ends. make sure not to clip the seam allowances and now I'm just going to turn the pouch inside out grab the corners with both your fingers and at this point you can open the zipper all the way make sure you're turning the corners properly and that's how it's gonna look now at this point put your finger through the entire pouch lining and make sure all the ends have come out now the part so ultimately this lining is gonna go in like that and your zipper if you have poked all the corners out is gonna be nice and cushy for your sunglasses and this is your pouch but my stuff has not been poked out properly yet so I'm going to go ahead and do that take my time make sure the corners are all the way out And here is my lovely tag adds a bit of professional uh, finishing to the project and I'm going to do the same to the lining as in poke in poke out all the uh, ends and now you see the part that we had seamed I had ironed inside is going to be easy to sew so what I'll do is line that up properly and go uh, seam it under the machine make sure I'm snipping all the excess threads so that they don't come in the seam there and now while seaming I'll make sure every part of the snipped part of the interior is inside now I'll do a small edge stitching and I'll do that on say I'll leave like a half inch to a three fourth inch and then I'll start sewing go all the way about this edge and then stop sewing again three fourth inch before the end so before that I need to make sure everything is poked out properly because then I won't have uh, any way to poke it out or poke it in all right so starting with the stitching now uh, it will be an edge stitch tiny back stitches and then make sure the edge is all lined up so I went ahead and uh, interfaced the lining with a thin non-woven interfacing so that it will become a bit stiff and add an extra bit of security for the sunglasses when they are inside a handbag. 
and I'll keep matching the edges and sewing this through. Threads need to be slipped so that they don't fall inside the seam. It should be neat and impeccable as far as I'm concerned. <coughs> stitch a bit and that's it and snip the threads excess threads that are showing out snip them <coughs> if you didn't hear that I'm snipping all the threads excess threads from the seaming to make it more finished and I'm making sure I'm not missing any fabric throughout the lining because it's going to be hard for my sister to finish that I'm making sure I'm not missed anything and I think we are done so all that needs to be done now is poke the lining inside so again using my fingers and matching all the corners matching this side so apart from the shape of the exterior this is how we will make every kind of zipper pouch so now I'm going to add a handmade zipper pull to this and write um, do my paint embroidery and I should be all set so let's see if the sunglasses fit this pouch hooray nice and perfect so that's it for today <laughs>